Good afternoon, Takahira, how are you doing? Um, can I just, first of all, just get your reaction from Saturday when, mm -hmm. when that goal was given? What, what was going through your mind and the players' minds? Uh, yeah, about the goal, I don't want to say a lot of things because uh, it's, their, it's their decision and uh, it's football. So, and I think Mikkel spoken about it, so I'm not saying anything. Could you then tell us what the mood is like in the dressing room after Saturday? Has that given the players extra motivation because of what happened? Mm, yeah, yes. Obviously, it was not best atmosphere because uh, we lost the uh, game against them. So, but you know, as you said, the goal was not like. It's, I can say it was an acceptable decision. That's why we were more emotional. But obviously, when we lost again, we are disappointed, and uh, it's, uh, it's always it's not the best feeling to lose a game. So, yeah, but like this, yeah. Is it good, this final one for me, is it good that you've got a game so quickly that, that you can almost take it out mm -hmm. and severe now? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Now we are fully focused on tomorrow's game. And also, we need to bounce back from the Saturday's, Saturday's game. Yeah. Moose? Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. Um, in terms of tomorrow's game, you can actually qualify for the next stage, which you with two games to go, and also the fact that this is your first crack at the Champions League with Arsenal. Yeah, it's a massive opportunity for us to, to qualify for the next stage. So, yeah, it's a massive game for us. So, yeah, we are trying to get three points against them. How much more difficult has it been this, this season concentrating on Premier League, with doing what you did again last season in that, with now the fact that you've got Europe every midweek or every other midweek? Mm. Well, obviously, it's not it's not easy one to play Champions League and the Premier League, and we've got cup games as well. But we've got depths more than last season, and uh, yeah, so we just need to be fit and be available as much as uh, we can, because. Already we've got the, uh, we've lost uh, some players with the injuries. So also for me, I need to be fit and uh, to be available as much as I can. Yeah. Finally, on, on VAR, not necessarily about Saturday, just in general, from a player's perspective, we saw last night. I don't know if you saw the game between Ars between Ch Chelsea and Spurs. VAR checks are taking longer and longer. Players are just standing around doing mm -hmm. nothing. I was at a Bournemouth game two weeks ago, five minutes for a VAR check. From a player's perspective, is it improving the game? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> but it's better not to say a lot of things because... Yeah, you, uh, you can, you can <laughs> because, because I'm a player. It's <laughs> like football, not stand around doing nothing. <laughs> because my job is not to speak in front of you guys. My job is to play and perform on the pitch, so... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thanks, Moose. Art? Hi, Takahiro. Um, when we've spoken to Mikel about you, he said he's been really impressed by your education, being able to play off both feet and your defensive principles, I think he said. I was just wondering if you could explain a little bit about, I guess, that education and how you've been able to develop those skills. Well, to be honest, I didn't train to be both fit. Just uh, yeah, when I was a kid, when I have the ball on my right foot, I play with my right foot, and uh, if it's uh, on the left foot, I play with the left foot. So I didn't train a lot to be both fit. So I can't explain, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Yeah. When. I guess you're playing right back and you're playing left back, mm -hmm. centre back sometimes. Do you find it quite easy to switch between those positions and form different relationships? Uh, 
Well, it's not easy, and uh, obviously my role changes each game. But the most important thing is how to be behave on the pitch, how much you want to win the game, how much you want to win your opponent. So this one doesn't change. So just my job is to give 100% on the pitch. Uh, yeah, the, it doesn't matter which which position I play. And um, when we look at your journey, I think there was a point when you were growing up where you were at a Barcelona soccer school. In, yeah, in Japan, yeah. In Japan. Yeah. I was just wondering, did that have a big, I guess, impact on your growth at the time um, as a footballer, or was it just one of those things that just happened? <laughs> Well, I'm not sure it was a big thing for me, but because uh, I was uh, I was at ten, ten, and, and I went there two years or something. So I went there just two years. So I'm not sure it was a big thing or not. But obviously, I learned. Uh, a lot of things, not only from uh, Barcelona school, also from the Abispa Academy. So, yeah. Davide? Hi, I'm Takehiro. Uh, my question is about Jorginho. How important is to have a player with his experience on the field with you guys in mm -hmm. big games? Obviously, yeah, he has a uh, big experience and uh, he gives us uh, a lot of things on the pitch and also out of the pitch as well. Yeah, he's uh, one of the best example for us. So, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, I learned a lot of things from him, yeah. The other one is on Champions League in general. This is the competition everybody wants to play. What is Champions League for you and... How it is actually playing? Obviously, to play in the Champions League was my one of the biggest dream. So I'm happy to play in the Champions League. So yeah, I just want to play on the pitch as much as I can. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um. I end up with haters. Uh, first of all, congratulations on being named Arsenal Player of the Month. Um, so, since joining the club, you struggle a lot with injuries. Do you feel that your injuries are truly behind you now and you can really begin to excel with your time at Arsenal? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm feeling very well right now. Obviously, as you said, uh, I was struggle with uh, injuries, especially last season. I can say that uh, last season was my toughest season in my in my career but i knew that uh, i can learn a lot of things from uh, the difficult period and i knew that everyone has a difficult period so yeah hi tommy um you said that it was it's difficult to switch between the positions and it's a challenge I'm curious, when you joined Arsenal, did Arteta tell you that he was going to expect you to play in lots of different roles? No. So what did he say? <laughs> was it just right back that he sold you at the time? Yeah, right back. Yeah, but I moved here last day of the market, so I didn't have to speak uh, with Arsenal. So, yeah. And um, obviously Japanese football in, in England is growing a lot. We're seeing Matoma at Brighton doing uh -huh. really, really well. We've seen Endo join uh, Liverpool mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. What do you put down this this surge of, of Japanese talent moving to England to? Mm. Yeah, Premier League is, uh, is the best league in the world, I think. And uh, most of every, I can say every Japanese player wants to play in the Premier League. And now I'm playing in Premier League, Mitoma and uh, Endo as well. And those, but uh, there are a lot of Japanese players in Germany and also around Europe. 
and they want to come and play in the Premier League. And it's a good thing for the Japanese players and for the national team as well, because uh, we are winning uh, six games in a row with the national team. So yeah, it's a good thing for, for us, yeah. And have you ever spoken to Mikel about a recommendation of, of someone that <laughs> you might want to sign? Um, no, <laughs> maybe last, no, last season, first, first season, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but, I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. It's all done. Thank you. Thank you.